Alakum big. Alakum chunky. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. And this one's box is very chunky. It's a very, very chunky box. It reminds me of that song, you know? I like them big. I like them chunky. I like them big. I like them chunky. I like them big. I like them chunky. No? No Madagascar fans out there? Anywho, let's just jump straight into the box. But before we get started, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you might as well click the like button. You might as well. All right, so on to this month's theme. It is Mother Nature. So the first item in the box is this Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. Interesting. So I guess this is kind of like a chemical exfoliant. It smells nice. It smells like a like a shampoo. Why did I say shampoo? So weird. I don't know. Mmm. But this smells really good. It smells very clean and fresh. Um, I will definitely update you guys in the description box down below once I do try this. I just don't like to do any like chemical exfoliants or anything on my skin before I put makeup. I seem to break out more when I do that. Um, so I avoid putting makeup on freshly exfoliated skin unless it's like really dry and crackly and literally peeling off then I'll go ahead and, and exfoliate but I usually use like a physical exfoliant but this I will wait to use tonight and I will update you guys very soon. But this is really exciting. This this retails for $59. Yes. So I'm very impressed that we got this in this month's box and I can't wait to use this. I will also update you guys on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you guys doing? Go ahead and click that Instagram follow button. Is that what it is? So if you're not following me on Instagram, then go ahead and follow me there and I will update you guys on my stories and let you guys know how I feel about this. The next item is from Tarte Cosmetics and it is their Micellar Magic Makeup Remover and Cleanser. So I will use this to remove this makeup after I'm done filming and I will, of course, update you guys. The packaging is so cute. It's one of those press spouts and I love these kind of tops. I do have two that I got from the dollar store. They're both broken though. So hopefully this doesn't let me down. But other than that, super cute. Really excited that we got two skincare items in the box this month. On to the next item, which is from Pretty Vulgar and it is their uncaged eyeshadow primer. And I love the packaging. It's like a baby pink with white and gold. I love that combination. This primer was actually really, really nice. It was nice and tacky, which is what you want so that the eyeshadows can really grip on and last all day. Normally in my makeup tutorials, I usually use concealer as my eyeshadow primer, but that's mainly out of laziness. Um, if I were going out to an event all day, then I would definitely reach for an eyeshadow primer because that is what will make your eyeshadow last for a long time. Concealer, I mean, concealer is concealer. It conceals the veins on your eyes, but it won't really grip onto the eyeshadow like primer will. So, really excited for this. Um, this worked beautifully, blended out beautifully. There was no skipping or anything like that when I was applying the eyeshadow, so loved this. This is really nice. Next up, we have an eyeshadow palette from Studio Makeup, and it's the Ease to Wear eyeshadow palette. And I don't think I've ever gotten anything from Studio Makeup before. This is the eyeshadow palette. It has your basic neutrals. It, it was an okay palette, as you can see, it blended out really well. Um, let me do a few swatches for you. There's some swatches right there. 
swatch really nice. This color right here is Gilded, and it's one of my favorite eyeshadows in this palette. It's very, very pretty, as you can see. So I ended up using seven out of the nine eyeshadows so that I could really get a feel for the palette. These are nice. These weren't anything extraordinary. The, the metallics aren't very, like, like, the foiled metallics that we see, but they were nice. <laughs> It wasn't disappointing, but it wasn't the best that I've ever used either. This retails for $35. I probably would not spend $35 on this. I feel like BH Cosmetics um, and even the drugstore, like e.l.f. Cosmetics, uh, what else, Wet n Wild, I feel like they have better eyeshadows than this. The shades, of course, I mean, they're neutrals. You can't really go wrong with neutrals, but since I've seen so many better options out there and options that are more affordable then i would not spend my money on this particular palette so overall this was good i've had better but would i pay 35 dollars for this or would i opt for like a wet and wild like super foiled eyeshadow yes i would rather have the wet and wild eyeshadow so this was like a meh and lastly, we have our lip product. This is the Appeal Cosmetics Ultra Cream Liquid Lipstick. It says it stays comfortable all day. Um, that's probably because it's not a matte lipstick. It's more like a satin finish. So it's going to feel a lot more comfortable on your lips, um, which is nice. I actually like that. The color in the try-on portion, as you can see, was a lot brighter than I expected it to be. Um, and it's actually a really pretty color. I would definitely wear this during like the spring and summer seasons But since the lipstick didn't quite match the tone of the eyeshadows I did my usual trick of patting on some of that eyeshadow onto my lips And it actually gave it a really pretty sheen while toning down the brightness of the lipstick But I actually really liked it. I normally don't like really bright neon lips on me at least but this was actually really fun i liked it it was like a very uh bright salmon pink color on my skin tone so if you're a brown girl like me with a tanner complexion it'll show up a lot brighter on you obviously so just keep that in mind before you make your purchase and the brightness of the shade actually makes you look tanner so if that's what you're going for then you might enjoy this I thought it would smell like something. Not really. All right, guys. So that's it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.